Welcome to your grammar class. Students, let me draw your attention to the board. Look at the sentences and study the verbs used. What is the first sentence? Rabindranath got the Nobel Prize in 1913. So the verb is got. The second sentence, Rabindranath was given the Nobel Prize in 1913. The verbal part is was given. It has two parts. Be verb plus third form of main verb. The local people founded the school. Founded is the verb here. The school was founded in 2001. Was founded. The injured person was taken to hospital. Was taken, the verb. We took the injured person to hospital. Took is the bar. Now, <clears throat> uh, you notice here sentence number one, three, and six. Sentence one, three, and six have similar patterns and 2, 4 and 5. These three sentences have a similar pattern. If I ask the verb, verbs in the three sentences 1, 3 and 6, who got the Nobel Prize? Who got? Rabindranath. Who founded the school? The local people. Who took the injured person? We. So in these three sentences, we see that the subject does the action itself. The emphasis is on the subject. Subject is more important than the verb or the object. But now come to the other three sentences. Rabindranath was given the Nobel Prize in 1913. Now was given. The verb is Give, gave. Who gave? Who gave the Nobel Prize? So the answer is not given here. So we don't know the subject. Then the school was founded in 2001. What was founded or who founded? The school that is not given in the sentence. Or suppose uh, if was founded in Atto by the local people. Local people. Even if I used that portion, even then. The emphasis is not on who founded the school. So the subject is less important. The action of the verb and the object are more important in these uh, sentences. Even in, in sentence 5, 2. The injured person was taken to hospital. Who took? Who took the injured person? No. So, the injured person is not the subject. The action was done on 
the injured person, not that the <coughs> injured person do the did the action. Tell me, I'm going to take the one, three, and six. In these three sentences, the subject does the action denoted by the verb himself. And the emphasis in these sentences is on the subject. The subject is given the most, uh, the, the highest importance. But in <coughs> the other three sentences, the action denoted by the verbs and the object are given emphasis and the subject is uh, of less importance or sometimes even we don't know who or what the subject is. Uh, in 1, 3 and uh, 6, the sentences start with a subject. Start with a subject. And the importance is on the subject. The subject uh, does the action itself. But in the other three, the sentence sentences start with the object upon whom the action was done. The object and the action are given uh, more importance than the subject. So, uh, these three sentences start with object. So, we sometimes start a sentence with a subject and give importance on the subject and in some sentences uh, the subject is less important or even absent. So, AJ Amra do habe sentence will be club. Airpore bittikore Amra sentence will be bhakkori do to habe. Active voice or actor passive voice. Tumra a voice kotha shumi thani active voice passive voice. So, our lesson today is on voice or rather voice change what is active voice and what is passive voice active voice the subject actively does the uh, action uh, denoted by the verb ebong subject er oporei guruttwo beshi ar jokhon subject kom gurutter Subject is take action ba object. It a beshi guru ter. Among subject, kam guru ter athuba onuposthit. Taakhon amra passive voice use kore. Boja galu. Tale active voice and passive voice amra boost parla. Now, <coughs> look at the verbal parts in the sentences. In the sentences which are in the passive voice, the verbs got, founded, took, they are used uh, actively. I'm going to the body. So, you can have subject for you. Bhatra Bushi, a simple past tense, such as giving the tense, giving the number two, are number two, four, and five. Jet a common factor, so the key verb jet B. Varbace, put the tat B. Varbace, B. Var active voice of Taktepan. In the part of Kota Kutai, Hobbe, Shatahuche, 
Vibharb is followed by the third form of the verb. Third form of the verb. Tale Vibharb, our active voice is active. It is a continuous tense. Progressive tense. I am writing a letter. Tale Jokon active voice is active. That is followed by ing form. Present participle form. কিন্তু আমরা সেটা পরে দেখব বিভিন্ন টেন্সে কিভাবে বিভার্ব ইউজ হচ্ছে এখানে আমরা সবটাই সিম্পল পাস্টে উদাহরণটা দিয়েছি বলে একই রকম হয়ে গেছে আমরা অন্য টেন্সে সেটা পরবর্তীতে যখন চেঞ্জ করব আমরা দেখব তাহলে আমাদের লক্ষণীয় বিষয় এটা হচ্ছে ইন কেসেস অফ প্যাসিভ ভয়েস অর ইন দা কেস অফ প্যাসিভ ভয়েস দা ভার্ব হ্যাজ টু পার্টস a verb and the verb is followed by the third form of the verb this is very important amra voice change korte gele onek niyom hoyto bolbo eta ki hobe ota ki hobe subject object hobe object subject hobe eta dite di but i feel or i think whether uh, a sentence is in the active or in the passive is very clear in the verb form and i call this bivar plus third form of the verb the passive form of the verb ami etake mone kori passive form of the verb bishabe tumra jodi mone rakho tahole bujhe jabe je oi sentence ta active na passive if bivar is followed by the third form of the verb bivar eta mone rakhte hobe kintu active voice ki third form nei ache kintu that is preceded by have verb have has had abar bivarb e ki ai active voice e ki bivarb nei ache but that bivarbs are followed by the ing verb forms present participle form thake or the bivarb itself is the only verb kintu shegulo state verb action verb noy to action verb hole amader Bivar, active voice Bivar is followed by present participle, passive voice again to Shabshwai Bivar is followed by the third form of Bivar. Abar Munhotu Paraji, active voice third form Ashi, Nishoyashi, Sheta Ashtayeli Kinage, Tarage, have Bhad Dakarai. Either have or has or had. Takuna Made, third form Dakarai. Shudran. আমি কি করে বুঝবো যে হয়ে দেয় এই সেন্টেন্স ইজ অ্যাকটিভ অর প্যাসিভ একদম আমি কিচ্ছু দেখবো না বাই আছে কি নেই সামনে একটা সাবজেক্ট কি অবজেক্ট কিচ্ছু দরকার হবে না ইফ আই নোটিস দা ভার্বাল পার্ট কেয়ারফুলি এন্ড ইফ আই ফাইন্ড দ্যাট देयर ইজ আ বিভার এন্ড দ্যাট বিভার ইজ ফলোড বাই দা থার্ড ফর্ম অফ বিভার देयर ইজ দা past participle form of the verb তাহলে I am damn sure that the sentence is in the passive voice. So you may call this viva plus third form of viva as passive form of viva. So then we have a passive form to see. I will say that this sentence is active or passive. Then we have to say that we start the sentence with the subject and the subject with the emphasis. আবার কখনো কখনো অবজেক্ট দিয়ে শুরু করি সেখানে সাবজেক্ট ইজ লেস ইম্পর্ট্যান্ট অথবা এমন হয় অবজেক্ট দিয়ে শুরু হচ্ছে এবং সাবজেক্ট টোটালি অ্যাবসেন্ট তাহলে আমরা বুঝতে পারবো তখন ওটা প্যাসিভ আর সাবজেক্ট দিয়ে শুরু হলে অ্যাক্টিভ তাহলে ফর দ্য ফার্স্ট ক্লাস অন ভয়েস আমার মনে হয় এই জায়গাটুকু আমাদের ভালো করে বুঝে নিতে হবে তারপরে আমরা এটা নিয়ে অনেক অনেক আলোচনার জায়গা আছে সেটা আমরা পরবর্তীতে দেখছি